it's much easier and just more at ease driving it. I can ride five or six hours. I'm much more relaxed. Well, it gives me a feeling, you know, of uh, greater assurance that everything will be all right. I feel more confident. They make me feel like a better driver. I never had a tire on a car that you could drive out and say, now oh, there's something really different about this tire. We know you've heard a lot of talk about a lot of new tires before. But we really don't think you've ever seen a tire quite like this one before. <laughs> the new B.F. Goodrich Lifesaver Radio with Dynacor Rayon Cord. I don't know what it is. Maybe because they're half flat, but I do feel, I feel safe in them. I, I noticed that the steering was more positive. Let's say I didn't have to turn the wheel quite as far with the radios as I did with the bias tires. The effort to drive the car is just very, very noticeably different. In comparison, the 990 feels like a bias tire, whereas the uh, newer radio really feels like a radio should. And the design is more aggressive, and the treads are wider and flatter. Tires look like they should be better, and they are. Beautiful, huh? Well, I've had the experience on them bad moves with them. And they're beautiful. All the things that we're talking about are obvious to anybody who gets in the car because it isn't the car itself, it's, it's the tires that uh, apparently give this performance. I know there's been a slight bit of trouble on the 990 and the dealerships throughout the country. One in particular that uh, he was, he wouldn't even talk about selling them. I know if they try two or three sets of the 414 that they'll be surprised at the results that they get. Well, they're going to have to actually show them proof of, of how the tire has performed. <laughs> This car really stops with the radio tires. There's no problem. I don't worry about that because they stop for me. We have two cars that go on the railroad 24 hours a day. Now they, uh, we've had, I've had nails right into the tire, big nails, and uh, geez, it didn't even bathe them. You know, they still run. You know. Yeah. Oh, we used to have flats, yeah. They used to have quite a few flats. I don't think you can have a blowout with these tires. You might have, but I, I doubt it. I've hit some pretty good holes. Well, you don't notice the bumps nearly as much because uh, the flexible sidewalls seem to absorb them better. I want a couple little bumps among friends. That reminds me of a little place over on, as you come off a turnpike and down there, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of chuck holes in there. You know, they're not big, but the way these tires sit, they sound nice to me. I don't know, I seem to always try to hit them now. They sound like nice going over them, you know. You ever, you ever run over a brick street and how sometimes they sound? Or, or it's, you know. Town speeds, like 20 miles an hour, there's no question that the tires are noticed. You more hear it than feel it. As soon as the speed got up to between 40 and 60 miles an hour on smooth pavement, the radial tires were much quieter than the others. No noise, no vibration, and if there's going to be any noise or vibration... The cruiser is ordered with the police package. Uh, this gives a, a hard ride. Some of the comments the men gave after we changed to this radial tire was it made the difference between uh, a Chevrolet and a Cadillac in riding qualities. My son-in-law drove my car and he said, just makes a sports car out of your heavy Oldsmobile. It's just unbelievable the way they react to the power steering. There's no effort to turning at high speeds on the highway. Yeah, I believe that you go 100 miles an hour and these tires will be safe. Honestly, that's my belief. Beautiful. I've had this thing up to 100. While she was knocking on the end, I figure about 125. And it just posted right along. We came in contact with the radials in uh, July of this year. We've had very good results with these tires. At high speeds, uh, it enables you to have much more control over the car. You don't get the feeling that you go off the edge of the road. You can even tell that you're, you're going over it. Normal tires, uh, they're just, uh, they rock the car. 
these tires, they seem to go right over it smooth. Well, you you drop off a berm or something, your belted tire could throw you a little bit versus where the radial, it doesn't put the flexible sidewalls on it. It just rolls right with the irregularities in the road. You got much better control over your automobile. I was I was never so shocked in my entire life the first time that I ran the, ran the car around the curves. They react to the steering. And high speed is basically where you get it. You put it in the curve and it stays right there. Well, you can actually just almost throw the car sideways and almost straight itself up. They grip real well. They're great tires for holding the road. They're wide enough. They stay down on the pavement. It stays right in the curve until you come out of it. The older tires, you get a lot of a lot of drift, and the car sways, you know. But with these, you can. There's just no drifting out. myself driving faster with the radials in rain than I did before. I find that I could go through the corners at a much, much better speed and not spin out. So I know if I come upon an unexpected uh, curve some dark rainy night that uh, with a radial tire on it, I'll make it through. Two years ago, my wife's sister was visiting us on Labor Day and light rain on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And she spun out. And guardrail to guardrail. The handling ability on the wet roads is much better than conventional tire. And it was just because of uh, uh, wet pavement, the greasy pavement. I mean, they grip the wet pavement real good. Tires is actually what caused it. Uh, there just, there isn't hardly any slide to them. And she was killed in that accident, so uh, I can't say enough about having good rubber, good tread on the road. Just before your tire is wore out, you're trying to uh, get as much mileage safely as you can out of it. And uh, you wonder sometimes if you're going too far with it. Well, the tires that I bought uh, came on the car. I burned them off at 9,000 miles. Polyglass uh, are performing better. We uh, have a lot of belted running, and uh, the mileage is good. But the mileage, I would say, is uh, not any more than half as good, perhaps, as radials. The new radial, we've had uh, nothing less than tremendous results, I would say. We've never gotten over 12 to 13,000 miles on any brand of tire on an automobile, and we've used all of them. You put them through all kinds of stress and strain. We used to only get uh, anywhere from uh, 15 to 18,000 on a set of tires. That's a hot tire all the time. The, the car's probably doing 500 miles a day. But this tire can take the distance and the wear, plus the heat of uh, the tire going all the time. That's another thing I've been surprised about. Uh, the mileage is just great. Marvelous. I know it's a new type tire, and it really wears. We're real, real pleased with it. Uh, I think we have roughly uh, 30,000 on it now. 30,000 miles would be approximately two and a half sets of tires, normal tires. Uh, you know, some of these have the highest 40,000 miles on them, okay. and they're still wearing. I know that they had a set of tires on the other car. And uh, he's taking them off and putting a new set on. And I said, what are you taking them ones off for? And he said, uh, well, they're going to take them down and test them and cut them up and test them. I, he said, I said, why? He said, well, he got over 40,000 miles. I said, they look like he could get another 40,000 in. 30,000 is fantastic. I can't, I can't believe it. Over 40,000, and we still had, we could have uh, maybe got another 10,000 out of them. I, I really can't believe it. Uh, 30,000 miles. But uh, there they are. I have the mileage. It's logged daily. It's a mighty tough 30,000 miles. I've got 40,000, roughly 40,000 miles on them. The last set of tires I had on it, they pulled off at 42,000 miles. And I still had plenty of tread. Well, from the way they're wearing right now, we're figuring 45,000 miles. I've already known of one that was checked out no more than uh, six weeks ago. It was up around uh, 52,000. And the set was taken off. I was there when they checked it. 52,000 miles, there was visible threat on it. These tires should uh, do at least 65,000, basing it on the percentage of wear now. We've got the miles on daily police reports. And believe me, they did it. They would outlast my car. One what? set is all you need. They're just uh, like a super tire. It's just, uh, they've really come up with a nice something new, you know, something really good. I, nothing I can say about their excellent tires, that's all. There's no more to be said. The new BF Goodrich Lifesaver Radial with Dynacore Rayon Cord. It has a whole lot going for it. And it's going a whole lot farther.